They're back and they're everywhere. Where is it? <laughs> I can't even Bro, see it's them. right here. There's so many... <laughs> we saved you today. The lanternflies have taken over campus once again, specifically under Morgan Hall and The View. Students are calling these hot spots lanternfly graveyards, and many are wondering why do they gather like this? Temple Ecology professor Dr. Matthew Helmus says it has to do with the height of the tall buildings. It seems like possibly they've evolved um, to climb to the tops of trees, catch the wind, and disperse, looking for what they want to eat. Um, and so our man-made environment has created giant structures then to climb up and disperse on. Now we don't know how much that facilitates the spread rate. We don't know that. Um, but certainly that's the hypothesis that scientists have as to why we're seeing them congregate at the bottom of buildings, at the bottom of telephone poles, electric poles, etc. You've seen them and you've stomped them. Now what's next? One trick is to try and capture several flies at a time using only a water bottle. So let's give it a try. Make sure it's open, angle it above their heads, and then get them to jump in. Ooh, three. I'll admit that was a little bit harder than we expected. But still, killing one or two is better than none, and Dr. Helmus says the environment needs our help. You should be terrified at their impact on ecosystems. So if you squish them, great. If you kill them, great. But also tell your friends about it, tweet about it. Luckily, students are already one step ahead. Temple U Lanternfly Squishers has nearly 2,000 followers on Instagram. The account dedicated to killing the bug has strangers stomping them out left and right. The creator, who prefers to stay anonymous, says the page has taken on an added meaning. Everybody's dealing with another uh, infestation, other than like Corona, this is another infestation as well, right? So um, decided, you know, what, might as well, like, if we can't really crush the big bug, might as well crush the little one, you know? We can totally do that and you can, we can see it happen, right? Something important to keep in mind, if you're trying the bottle trick like we did, make sure to seal the bottle tight and then put it away in a freezer or storage for a couple of days. And then throw it away or recycle it. Do not take it in a car or with you anywhere. That will give the fly a chance to lay eggs and just keep spreading. You can visit InvasiveSpeciesInfo.gov or TempleUpdate.com for more information. I'm Liana Golden for Temple Update.